CTV. It's an A-Town Classic. Boys basketball and over Huskies are hosting the, the Anoka Tornadoes. The Tornadoes come in here with a five and five record. The Huskies three and six, but throw the records out the window when this rivalry starts. It's gonna be a good one. Anoka won the first game 78 to 61 back in December. Andover's looking to get revenge. Coming up next, it's boys basketball here on QCTV Sports. Back to the fence, and that's gone. There it is. Ace to win the set. It's caught. 20, 10, touchdown. This is going to be in the gap. Yes, yes, yes. Goals out of the place. Yes. The Huskies win their first state championship. And good evening and welcome to Andover High School. It is at a town rivalry in Oka visiting Andover tonight. Steve Thompson along with Jim Childs tonight and should be a good one in Oka won the opener in December. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, uh, this is such a great uh, rivalry between in any sport. Uh, tonight, uh, the second game of, uh, of the two. Uh, Andover had a 10 game winning streak until this last one where they were able to, uh, Noka was able to break a bit and uh, uh, looking forward to a good game. Quick break, we'll come back. Jeremy Hable with Jim earlier. Jeremy Hable, boys basketball coach for the Andover Huskies. Coach, tonight, big section game, big conference game, and a big rivalry tonight. How are you feeling about your team tonight? Um, feeling good. We've been playing inconsistent lately, but we've had flashes of showing what we can be. Um, just got to learn to put it together a little bit. Good. You've got uh, two Lukes that uh, have really helped lead the team, not only three-point land and underneath with rebounds. Uh, what have they meant so far to the energy and the dynamics of your team? Yeah, they both bring it in different ways. Um, Luke on the inside, Deneke, he's been a monster. Um, great athlete, great attitude, just a fierce competitor. And I think Luke Fenton surprised some people this year, um, which has been fun. Um, he's probably going to learn pretty quick that he's not going to surprise people too much longer, but he's an ultimate competitor too. Two fierce competitors that have really stepped up this year. The section, section seven, it's wide open right now. There's no, there's no clear cut favorite. Uh, and, and every year it seems to be there's somebody kind of bubbles to the top the last two years you have. What do you got to do to kind of get your team in the process of, of getting ready for sections? I know it's a, it's, it's a couple weeks away, it's weeks away, but mm -hmm. it, there's still important to, uh, um, ways that you can get ready for, get your team ready for sectional playoffs. Yeah, one of the way we do it is we try to, um, we play a tough schedule. We believe that pays dividends come down the road. The other thing is right now is stay the course. You know, just because we are struggling and our record isn't what it wants to be, stay the course right now, keep doing the little things. Eventually they become consistent and hopefully by the end of the year, uh, come March, you're playing your best basketball. Great. Coach, thanks. Good luck tonight against Anoka. Coming up next, it's the tip right here on QCTV. And we're getting those Andover lineups, and we're going to run down the Anoka and Andover starting five momentarily. We should tell you in the JV game, Andover rolled 70 to 44. And there's the starting five for Jeremy Hable and Andover. Yeah, Cameron Pagali, one of the guards, he'll be out there. Mikey Tisha will be uh, substituting for Alex Kapetsky. Luke Fenton, who uh, uh, is one of the Lukes, along with Luke Denneke, both strong senior season, along with junior Quinn State. And the Anoka Tornadoes were announced just a moment ago, and here's how the maroon and white are going to go in the game tonight. And their leading scorer, Peyton Padani, 18.7 a game, 8.1 rebounds a game. And then, of course, you have Shearer, Ellis, Frecking, and Borchers. Borchers averaging 15 a game, and you, you brought up that uh, first match up back on December 8th at Anoka. And over pretty good uh, production, Luke. Fenton, 22 points. Luke Denneke, 17 points, 16 rebounds. But Anoka had a lot more depth and a lot more balance in that win. Yeah, they did. Payne Padani had 23. Sure, Ellis and Borchers all over uh, in double digits. Uh, really impressive. Frecking underneath 15 boards and Quinton uh, a, 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 a 10 reborn or 10 board game as well. We're ready to go. And it'll be Andover in black, Anoka in white on the road, tip in the air, and the tip controlled by Denneke. Here come the Huskies. Fenton into the front court to Begali, and they'll swing it around the perimeter. Deishan has a touch. And now it's Begali in the middle. 
Andover's going to need to play well to get the win here on their home floor tonight. Begali right of the lane near the block, puts it up, off, no good. And the rebound to haul down by Fracking. Here come the Tornadoes out in the corner. Borchers three, no rebound, tapped around. Tornadoes can't save it, it goes out of bounds. Good hustle in the corner by Fracking, but he could knock it down. Yeah, Fracking's really the energy that brings uh, that, that brings there. He's uh, just doesn't, he has no quit out there. Good muscle under the boards. And uh, really, uh, he's kind of the engine that makes it go as far as the energy level goes for the Tornadoes. 6 1 Junior Begali running the point, 8.4 a game, 5.6 rebounds around the corner. Fenton. And we have a foul uh, off on, the ball. Yeah, it's on Denneke on the Almost screen. Foul, the yeah, first foul of the game on Andover and Luke Denneke. And Tornadoes get the ball and they'll inbound in front of their own bench. Head coach Jeffy Jesse Jefferson in his third year, of course, Jeremy Hable uh, with Andover and has done an outstanding job. Huskies getting to the state tournament two years in a row. Orchards down low, they swing it back outside. Ellis will hand it off. And now Peyton Padani. Padani drives left to the lane, stops. Wow. That was a dramatic travel call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if it was a foul or what. But. So Noka, Noka does like the pressure. That's the one thing that uh, uh, Coach Jefferson really kind of puts in is uh, just some pressure on each uh, inbound. He should in the paint, put it up. No, the rebound ripped down there by Denneke. He'll get it to the outside. This is Fenton. Gets it over to Denneke. Tough shot. No. And the rebound to Podani. And Peyton Padani not only leads him in scoring, but 8.1 rebounds a game. So he does a pretty good job on the glass as well. Here are the Tornadoes. Borchers into the corner. Ellis missed. And the rebound hauled down by Denick. He's speaking of a good rebounder. <laughs> Averaging a double-double this year. And now we have a foul. And that'll go on Dre Ellis. That'll be his first. Uh, just uh, a little over anxious and this 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 rivalry foul, means something you can feel just in the energy first, level within the uh, the gym tonight that it's uh, uh, this this game means a lot for both teams almost two minutes in still scoreless both teams have had good looks here's Begali over to Deshin he'll knock it down in front of the scorers table hounded there by Shearer and now give it up into the middle here's Cameron Begali 13 on the shot clock. Now Deeshan right side. He'll put it on the floor, try to get rid of it. Brecking knocks it away and gives it up. Padani into the front court. Padani to the free throw line. Left to the lane. Fade away. Got it. That's pretty. Nice move. Jumped right up from the elbow and uh, put it down without uh, any harm. Tornado's on the board. Here's Begali. Deeshan on top. Shovels it down low and turned it over. No, it was tipped out by Anoka. Tried to get it down low to Denneke, but knocked away by the Tornadoes. Probably Frecking on the tip. Yeah, well, Frecking seems to be everywhere right now. He's uh, He's got a couple of rebounds and probably a skin knee. Stay on the inbound. Here's Begali on the left. Drives into the block. He'll try the fadeaway and hit it. Cameron Begali puts Andover on the board. We're tied at two. Here are the Tornadoes. Padani left of the lane. He'll stop. Fade away again. Heel of the rim no good. Rebound Begali. But Andover will push it forward. Here's Fenton. Fenton's going to drive in. Ten-footer left baseline. No. Rebound grabbed by Fracking. And now it's Shearer pushing it ahead. Porchers on the wing. Turned away. Good D there by Quinn Stay. He got to the ball. Into the paint. Shearer. Lowers the shoulder, got a shot away. No, Begali saves it in to Denneke, and Begali will get it back. A good hustle by Begali to get that to ball before it went out of bounds. Here's Stay on the right side. Disha now on the left. Begali. 2 2 game early. Disha three. Off, no good. Rebound. Ripped down by Stay. Back out to Begali. 12 footer from him is good. He has all four for Andover. That play was set up by Stay and his uh, his ability to get that rebound and keep that ball alive for the Huskies. Orchers hands it off. This is Shearer. Nice feed down low to Padani. Reverse layup, good. Padani has four and we're tied. 
He's smooth, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he's Good just under player. control all the time. 6'4", junior. 18.7 a game, 8.1 rebounds. He has four already, and there's turnover on Andover, Begali. Got to get rid of it. Oh, we're going to get a foul? Yeah, it's a foul on State. Yeah, it'll be a foul off the ball. Stay number one. Team foul number two. I, I was thinking, but golly, there's no way he was holding on to it for five seconds and was guarded in that situation. J.R. Hurst into the game. He'll feed Borchers. Borchers will hand it off. Here's Ellis. Ellis in the middle. Borchers drives into the lane, kicks it back out. Ellis will drive right back at it. Runner down the lane, no rebound, tapped around, fought for. Deshan ripped it down, and we got a foul. That's probably going to go on Ellis. If it is, it's number two. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Ellis is is really the 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 best defender out there. For Anoka, and it is number two on Ellis. Team fouls are even at two apiece, and hand over to inbound, guarding the ball of Hurst. Full court pressure by the Tornadoes. They get it into Begali. And guarding back there is Padani. Peyton Padani. Begali has it. Shovels it inside. Backing his way down. Denicky shot up. No good. Rebound Tornadoes. Here comes Anoka on the break. Padani. All the way across into the corner. Hurst. Rattles out. No good. Follows his own shot. Scramble on the deck, picked up by Denicky. Here comes Andover. Fenton the other way. Fenton's going to go into the paint. He gets double teamed, stolen away by Anoka. And here come the Tornadoes. Lackanen drives in off the glass. No. Rebound Begali. Up and down they go. But not a lot of scoring. Tied at four. Over five minutes in. Into the paint. Fenton had a block. Begali gets it back. Free throw line, Jay. Good. He has all six for Andover. Oh, he's feeling it right now. Good elevation on that right from the free throw line. Able to put uh, it down. Here's Padani off a pick coming out to help Denicky. Good job there. Padani gets it back. Long three. Got it. Padani all seven for the Tornadoes. Coming up on the 12-minute mark, here's Begali. He'll try the three and hit the three. So it's a Begali Padani show here tonight. And over by two, Padani hands it off. Here's Lackanen to the middle, Borchers. Borchers left of the lane, turned away. Near side, Hurst. Hurst into the paint, back to the corner, fracking, and no. Rebound, stay batted around, picked up by Deshan. Deshan, nice look ahead, easy layup for Denicky. Oh, like you said, just uh, just his, his ability to good up the court and uh, spot Denicky. Great job by Deshan. And over by four, here's Borchers. 16 footer, no. Partially blocked. Begali back the other way. He had it knocked away by Borchers trailing the play. Andover's going to hang on, and we're going to get a substitution in for the Tornadoes. Dominic Bakit will come into the game. Trey Borchers will get a breather. Jesse Jefferson and the Tornadoes. So a little bit Eddie more. Miles in, by the way, Quinn Stale sit yeah. for Andover. So Miles and Denicky, two big bodies. See how they change their offense a little bit with both these two big guys. Deshan tried to shovel it into the corner. It's knocked away by Hurst for the Tornadoes. Deshan steals it back. They're scrambling all over the place, and it goes out of bounds off Deshan. Good hustle by J.R. Hurst, the 6'4 senior guard. He really battled on that play. Yeah, it, and Deshan, too. I mean, Deshan was all over trying to get that by that, those loose balls. And... Now it's Padani over the timeline, under 11 to go. Half number one, Andover leading by four at home. Another three, Padani, it's an air ball. Easy rebound, Denicky, and he'll hand it off to Deshan. That's about as easy a board as Luke Denicky's ever going to have. <laughs> that just landed in his lap. There's Fenton down the lane. His runner is good. 
Seven all run. And over by six. Padani over to the left. Hands it off. Lackanen goes around the corner. Deshan steals it away. Stolen by Mikey. Mikey into the paint. Kicks it out in the corner. Stepping back. Fenton. He has five. And over. Extends their lead to 16 to 7. It's a 10 0 run with 10 16 to go in the first. Andover hitting on all cylinders, Jim. They, they really are. Defensively, it's it's driven by their defense, and their defense of just not allowing those open shots. They're they're able to to move. But not only that, but you see Mikey Deshan just uh, uh, going after any any uh, free ball, good steal, it comes down, able to get a defend. Fenton puts it in. Um, also another assist to uh, to Denicky as well. So. Yeah, and Mikey Deshan, you know, Getting the opportunity tonight due to the injury to Alex Kopetsky and really making the most of it, bringing a ton of energy, and it, that means a ton of minutes when you play like Mikey's played so far. Yeah, and he's been the leader. He's he's the uh, the statistical leader in assists so far for the Huskies yep. at two and a half. Uh, but he, when he comes in there, he just he just just adds a lot of fuel to everyone else out there. And uh, you can see that happening there. Another, you know, uh, Fenton starting to feel it too. Last five points out of him. Yeah, and Cameron Begali open for Andover with nine in a row. Then Denneke and Fenton got involved. Meanwhile, Peyton Padani, all the scoring for the Tornadoes was seven. And they need to find someone else. They've had good looks. Yeah. The shots haven't been falling. Yeah, I, you've got to figure out how to get Trey Borchers in. He can be deadly from the outside. And uh, he's had one shot so far, but it's been uh, contested. Here's Padani. And over by nine. They're on a 10 0 run. Left of the lane, driving in, getting hammered, but Keith. And it goes out of bounds. They say all ball as Bakit went down. And on the inbound is going to be Padani. All seven for Anoka. That looks like all ball there. Orchard's on the floor. They swing it around, driving in. Bakit tried to give it up. Good catch down low by Quinty. Knocked away and grabbed by Begali. Andover runs a break into the front court. Now it's Begali again. Off to the right. Deshan. He'll drive in. And out of the middle. Squire on the floor wearing number 23. Down in the corner. Here's Denneke. Look out. Denneke has five. Third made three for Andover. It's a 13-0 run right back the other way. Anoka ends that streak. And that's Padani knocking it down. Padani has all nine. Ten-point Andover lead. They get it inside. Powering it up and in. That was Eddie Miles with his first bucket. Good feet inside. Right back the other way. Borchers missed. Rebound Begali. Begali running the floor. He'll go to the right in front of the Tornado bench. They get it inside, off, no good. Good defense on Denneke. Tornado's back the other way, running the break. Down the lane, Padani draws a foul. Follow is good, but it'll be two for Peyton Padani as he drove right down the lane. That'll be the third team foul on Andover. Yeah, and it, to be honest, uh, Dominic Beckett on the last uh, trip down the court really had some nice defense on, on Denneke. Foul's going to go on Begali as first. Padani's free throw hits the front of the rim but fell over. And Peyton Padani, the only player to score for Anoka, he has 10. Begali's going to get a breather. Fenton's on the floor, Squire's on the floor. That one no good, and the rebound hauled down by Stane. The Squire gets it back out on top, and we have a travel turnover on Andover. There hasn't been a ton of that no, tonight. No, there really hasn't. Uh, you know, like probably two on each side. Uh, it's it's a quick moving game. If these if some of these shots have dropped, we'd be in the 40s right now. I mean, it's uh, they uh, they're not letting the grass grow under their feet. 
But Annie getting to breathe here with all 10 of Anoka's points. Who else is going to step up? Here's Borchers down the lane. Double team comes. Feeds it across the lane. Gets it back out. Three ball on the way. Off no good. Rebound tapped down. Grabbed by Effie Ibekwe. Ibekwe tries to spin. He had it knocked away. And that was Mikey Deeshan. And now he's running the point. Deeshan right up the middle of the floor. And that's oh. going to be a charge. He put yep. his arm yep. out. He did. Yep. Number one on Deeshan, fourth on Andover. That's a foul every time. Good call. And a did come up, yeah. Impressive on the Huskies' defense, just their, their active hands and their feet. They're moving. Bakit right of the lane to the block. Off the glass, got the bucket. Dominic Bakit, tough driving bucket. 21-12. And now we're going to get a sub in here, or we get a foul? No, no, no. foul. I'm not, I'm not sure what it was, but nevertheless, Squire's going to inbound. Lucas Squire, six-one junior, gives it up to Eshan. Good start though for Andover. Eshan drives. Gives it up, free throw line jumper, off no good by Miles. Rebound Anoka. Tornadoes come back the other way, Shearer. Right back out on top to Shearer. Ibekwe trying to find help. Skips it all the way across, long three on the way. Heel of the rim no good, Shearer. And we have a foul on Anoka, that, that's gonna be a foul off the ball, and, and that's going to go on Concho Quinty. That'll be his first. Team fouls are even at four apiece. Bagali back on the floor. Key guy running the point. Deshan out there. Also Fenton. And then you got Stay and Miles out there for Andover at the moment. In the middle. Bagali left of the key that down deep and out and the board to Shearer for the Tornadoes Here comes Anoka the other way quick three on the way that one is short by Bakit Rebound to Andover Bagali almost got tripped kicks it out on the wing three from Borchers No rebound to stay and then had it batted away By Bakit for Anoka Andover's gonna hang on yeah. You see the uh, the uh, the matchups that Anoka has right now defensively are matching up with Denicky out. Those two, you know, Miles and Denicky just created some some uh, matchup issues. Bagali on the inbound gets it to Borchers, and now it's Dushan. Bagali left side, now in the middle stay. They work the perimeter, driving in. A fadeaway up and in. Yeah, that was a pretty tough shot by Miles, and he knocked it down. Yeah, nice. Miles has four off the bench. Right back the other way. Shearer throws one up in the paint. It falls. He's on the board. 23 14, and over the other way. Body on the deck. Bagali lost it, and then we got a foul. I think that's going to be on stay. That's almost a tackle on stage. <laughs> yeah, that would have been two minutes in hockey. That would have been uh, soccer. They would have called that a foul. Just about any sport, that would have been a foul. Yeah, you'll get a good look at it here, and that's just, yeah, yep. that, yeah. And, and, and that's tripping tech. By the way, stay first uh, and over Husky with two fouls. Uh, they have five overall. Anoka with four with 6.08 to go in the half and Anoka back at it down by nine but Annie back on the floor with Borchers now in the middle Hurst Borchers right side works off a pick goes to the baseline tough 10 footer overstay rebound almost went out of bounds good job by Eddie Miles to box yeah. out on that play yeah yeah and, and again good defense by Quinn Stay. really impressed with his defense so far as he's been against Borchers a couple of times Here's Bagali over the timeline, left of the lane, tries to spin into the paint, down on the deck, tied up by Hurst. 
Good job by Harris. Boy, both teams really getting after it defensively. Been very physical. No cabal. Yeah, it's been physical, but it hasn't been over physical where it's right. been, been cheap. It's been, you know, just guys diving on the floor. Then it keys out there. Miles will sit for Andover. And now it's Padani. Padani scored the first nine for Anoka. He goes into the lane, kicks it out on the left. Shearer, one more pass into the corner. Borchers is for his point. It's a three. And Anoka getting right back into a 23-17. And now we have a foul in the backcourt. And that's going to be on Hurst. Team falls even now at five. First on Hurst. And really, Borchers, you know, what you tell your shooter, just keep shooting. And uh, he's been finally able to nail one down. He's a, he's a real important cog to this uh, Tornado's offense. He should in the middle of the floor, guarded by Shear, almost got away with the reach, gets it to Denneke, can't finish, but he'll get two free throws. So Luke Denneke has five points, and he'll get his first free throws of the night. First free throws for Andover coming up yeah, right here. You, you're right. There haven't been a lot of either. Right here, he just goes up, and Frecking. Frecking didn't get cheated there. Right? No. That free throw is good. <laughs> And it's 24-17. So it was 16 to 7 in Oka with 10-16 to go in the half. Just over five minutes of game time. This team's really battling. But Denneke now has seven. And Andover's lead is back to eight at the moment. Coming up on five to go in the half. Borchers hands it off. Here's Shearer. Shearer in the middle back to Borchers. They play catch on the perimeter. We haven't come close to a shot clock violation. Orchers into the lane. Oh. Deshaun steals it away. Flips it ahead on the break. Fenton goes up. Got it to go. What a shot. He has seven. Terrific shot. Ten-point game and over the lead. And Oka the ball. Hurst. Hurst almost doubled. Gives it up down low. That'll be an and one. Frecking finishes. Yeah, what a great pass. And Frecking, who hasn't scored yet, ha has been down low and makes no mistake. That'll be the that third on yep. stay, by the way. Sixth on Andover. Frecking's going to go to the bench right back on the floor. Dominic Bakit, the 6'3 junior guard for Jesse Jefferson. And Frecking hasn't scored. Well, he's got the two and now tries for the three point play. And he knocks it down. Anoka, by the way, two or three from the line in the game. And over by seven in the ball. Here's Begali in the backcourt, guarded by Hurst. Kicks it out in the corner. That is Fenton, put up a shot. That's ripped down by Frecking. The other way comes Hurst. He'll go in, miss a shot, trailing the play. Miles with the board for Andover. Begali right back the other way. And then he had it knocked away by Bakit, but that's going to be a foul. On Dominic Bakit for Anoka. I think it'll be that would be his second. I'll put it right on Team fouls are even now at six. Yeah. First on Bakit. Ellis has two. No one else for Anoka with more than one. 408 to go in the half. And now it's Dijon. What a game he's played for Andover tonight. Hasn't scored, but has done a lot of other things. Here's Bagali. Fade away, air ball, rebound ripped down by Frecking and a foul on Evan Frecking. And we'll go to the other end and get a front end of a one and one. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I think it was on Denneke. That'll be number two on Denneke if that's, that's how it goes, and it does. And now front end of a one and one, Evan Frecking, 6'5", senior forward, 6.2 a game. And he's got three here tonight. A three-point play, the old fashioned. <laughs> Anoka has two made threes, and over in the game, three made three-pointers. Front end, no good, but the rebound, sure. He'll kick it to the outside, but Keith misses a look, and the rebound grabbed by Miles for Andover, and he'll give it up to Deshaun. Right back the other way, quick trip down the floor, shot up, no good by Fenton. 
And now an Oka right back at it. J.R. Hurst, he'll drive in. Miss the layup. A rebound McKeep can't control. Grabbed by Begali. Here comes Handover in black. In the front court down to our left. He'll swing it all the way across. Driving in there is Fenton into the corner. Now they work it down low. Miles in the paint, up short. Fighting for it, got it back, right back up. And they're going to call a jump as Shearer tied it up from behind. Yes. Got a hand yeah, on it. Yeah. Like, uh, Eddie Miles with uh, uh, with three offensive rebounds. There's one. Yeah, they called the jump on that one. That was that yeah. was that was his. He's going up again. That so sophomore has been really impressive. Fenton lets the three fly. That's tapped around. Controlled by Miles. Throws it into the paint. Finally <laughs> going to be controlled by Anoka. A lot of scrambling. Coming up on three to go in the half. Here's Shearer. Padani is going to drive in into the paint. Put it up. And that'll fall. Boy, just a jump stop inside. And he has 12. Uh, he is. Uh, he's got some touch. Right back the other way, Fenton for Andover. They get it to the outside. Fenton will try it. No, and the board comes to fracking. Break the other way. Padani three short. Easy rebound to Ishan. Ishan's been all over the floor. Hasn't once again scored, but done a lot of good for Andover. He'll drive right of the lane down to the block, put it up. No good. Miles fighting for the board, but it goes out of bounds. Off him. And Anoka will get it back down by five. But I get the effect of Mikey Deason out there and just the, the energy, he, he's able just to create. Hasn't, last couple of trips down the floor, hasn't necessarily been fruitful for the Huskies, but he's, uh, he's really been a force out there. It, it was tied, 2-2, tied at 4-4. Anoka led 7-6. Then Andover led 19-7, and again, 21-19, and we have a timeout on the floor. So their, their big lead has been 12 twice. Now it's five, and the Tornadoes are going to have the ball out of a timeout when we come back. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, the Peyton Banani, uh, the, the ability with that, we're going to take a look at the, uh, the standings or the uh, rankings right now. Uh, you said you've, said you've had a chance to see YZ. YZ has uh, been pretty solid this year. Uh, yeah, YZ won at Eastridge. I saw that game on Monday night. Eastridge had a lead in the second half. YZ pulled away, and they're now 11 and 0 on the Air Park Center. Minnetonka, Farmington, Lakeville North, then Shakopee, Hopkins, Minneapolis, Washburn, Osseo, and Rogers. So as you might expect, a lot of late conference. And a lot of Northwest Suburban when it comes to boys hoops. Yeah. And, then, and then, of course, you get some South Suburban with the likes of Lakeville North in there as well, and Shakopee, so, and, and Farmington. So, I mean, those three leagues really dominate in boys uh, hoops. It, yeah, and you, you can see there's not a Section 7 team on there. Uh, they're, uh, you know, and this, uh, this, this section is so wide open. You know, right now, currently, you know, Coon Rapids is uh, QRF uh, standings. They are they're leading number one. But YZ won two of the last three titles. Here's Padani slings it across. Three pointer in the corner. And that is nothing but net for Dre Ellis, who was sitting for a while with two fouls. And now it's a two point game. Right back the other way. Fenton the three. He answers. He has 10 points. Luke Fenton a monster three and Andover back up by a five. Great answer by Fenton. Here's Padani. Took the handoff from Shearer. Padani right of the lane. Stops. Kicks it further out. Ellis into the middle. Now Padani right side. Ellis looked at a three. He'll drive on Deshaun. Give it up. Frecking bobbled it for a moment. Back out. And then Ellis got hammered. And I'm not sure who's going to pick up the foul here. Could be Owen Schmitz who's on the floor. Oh, it's not going to be Schmitz. That is Deshaun, his second, Ethan Andover. Yeah, they've got. He, he's so active, you can't allow him to get his third before that. So Jack Brandle will come in. Jack Brandle, 5'11 junior guard. And as we men mentioned, Owen Schmitz on the floor as well. 
at the line. Ellis missed that free throw. So they're going to say it was on the floor in the front end. And over by five. Coming up on one to go here in half number one. There's Begali. Begali had nine. All of those coming early. The first nine for Andover. Begali again. They get it inside. Miles turn around in the paint. That's good stuff. He has six. Uh, good touch down low for a big guy. Here's Padani left side. Coming up on 50 to go here in the half. Nice feed down low. Shearer over to Frecking. And Frecking has five. Pretty play. And now this is Pagali out on the left side. Bobbled it for a moment, but Hurst wasn't near him. Now he'll drive in on Hurst, get it down low, keep it alive, get it to Schmidt. Now it's Pagali again for three. No. Rebound ripped down there by Frecking. Outlet ahead on the break. Driving in. Dre Ellis. What great body control. He has five. Right back the other way. Finn hits a runner down the lane. He has 12. 34 29. Under 10 to go in the half. Padani with five. Into the paint. Gives it up. Tipped around. Free throw line jumper at the horn. No. Oh, it was padded out of there. Off wrecking. Padani had a look. Not a great chance as he flipped it up there. But Andover goes to halftime with a 34 29 lead. Frantic pace. Yeah, it, frantic pace. And, and uh, the composer of the tornado is able to take that 12 point lead and cut it to five. So good second half coming up in this A Town Classic. It has been entertaining. Don't go away. Anoka and over boys hoops here on QCTV. and playing with all my guys. We've been playing together since like middle school. And I'm just seeing the coaching staff, seeing everybody every day, just makes me happy. I, mean, I, I think we hold each other accountable well. I think that's the biggest motivator for us. We don't want to let our team down. We want to play for each other. And I think that that keeps us playing hard every day. I've like continue to play varsity like I've continued to get better over the years and I just want to keep getting better and producing more and more and helping the team out so for myself I know after or after these last two years I've been climbing that thousand point leader club so I'm trying to get into there along with, along with Trey and uh, team wise I mean I want to go to state I think that's all of our goals here Jesse Jefferson all of our assistant coaches so that's that's our main goal quiet about our goals this year. We have every intention of representing Section 74A at the state tournament. Um, we took a couple beatings the last, the last two years of the section tournament, but we're confident. We have some returning players. Our players, our best players are 15 and more on the way to play. Our junior class is pretty deep this year. Trey Board, Chris Hayden, Fidani, Affie Beckway, Caleb Shear. These four guys in particular have been playing together since they were in fourth and fifth grade. So the camaraderie is good. They've had a lot of success at the younger levels. They kind of hit their lumps as freshmen and sophomores um, playing with, without a lot of experience. But they're juniors now. I just feel like we're all like so close with each other. I mean, me, Payne, all the guys have been playing together, like I said, since middle school. And I feel like we just all like are just connected so much. Tough matchup tonight here at the Anoka Fieldhouse where the Anoka Tornadoes took on the YZ Trojans. And early on, it was a layup line for the YZ Trojans. Good feed here for Hawkinson. Sophie Hawkinson turns around, knocks that one down as well. They get out to an early lead, do the Trojans. Back come the Tornadoes as Lizzie Shokneck knocks down a big jump shot there. Cuts that lead back to four. The lead balloons back up 
to 11, 21-10, and then the Tornadoes kind of get going. Drew Peterson knocks down a jumper, then knocks down a three. That'll get us pretty close to the half, 27-24. Trojans lead at the break. Second half, Lydia Lackanen comes out hot, tries to get things going for the Tornadoes. Katie Emelot, though, had the answer for the wise at a Trojans. Turnaround jumper there, turnaround jumper that time after the made layup. Lackanen tries to answer on the other side. Lydia finished with 15 tonight, had a very good one. Big three from Hawkinson late, though. That was sort of the sealer. As the Trojans came out in the second half and executed the offense brilliantly, getting tons of looks at the rim, a lot of made layups, a lot of second chance opportunities. And no matter what the Tornadoes tried to do, they just couldn't get much closer than 10, 11, 12 points. Finally, the lead ballooned up to 16, and that's where it stayed. Final score tonight, 60 to 44. The Wise of the Trojans beat the Tornadoes on QCTV. Thursday night at the Anoka Area Ice Arena, Northwest Suburban Conference Hockey. The Tornadoes hosting the Totino Grace Eagles. And it was the Eagles scoring twice in the first period after a couple of good looks there. Initial save by Lafferty, the goaltender for Anoka. Horak out in front from Anderson and Gallivan. His first goal of the season, 1-0 Totino Grace. Anoka, tight look there that sailed high. Then back comes Gallivan. And a rising wrister over the glove of the goaltender Lafferty under the crossbar. Gallivan second of the season. And it was 1-0, 2-0 after the first period. One goal in the second period scored by Totino Grace. Anoka had a power play chance and collected a couple of opportunities on that power play. Unable to break through to get a goal on the board. And then off a little bit of a scramble on front. Loose puck in the high slot. Blake Anderson, another high wrist shot under the crossbar. His second goal of the season made it 3-0 to Tino Grace entering the third period. Tino would score early in the third inside of the first two minutes. Scramble from behind the net, comes out in front, bodies down. Lafferty tried to cover it up and the puck came free. And Murad got his stick on it, able to play it into a mostly open net for his fifth goal of the season. That made it 4-0. And that would be our final in the game here tonight. A couple of penalties here, crashing in on the goaltender in the final seconds of the game. Some frustrations boiled over, but it's Totino Grace getting their sixth win of the season. A 4-0 win over Anoka. In, uh, in, in different sections, but they, they both come in with some great... Inside feet, beautiful to Rowe, but Rowe gets swatted a bit by Begali as it looked like he kind of altered the shot, and Fenton's going to get an open three on the other end and knock it down. The lead, nice move by Fretheim, and he takes it in on a beautiful little spin move. Drive to the paint, drive and kick. This is textbook ball right here, Swish. Oh. In the back, now he's going to have to... Oh, that's stolen by Kapetsky, but he lost his balance. Didn't travel, there's numbers the other way. Can they finish this off in the corner for three? Got it. That's a big gift. Insanely hot right now, 12 points each on four threes. Kapetsky the drive, oh. and off the window. And still set the screen on Shaw. Logering's gonna go through it and keep it and make it. First time we've even gotten close to that, but they get a rebound and a steal. Kapetsky's got it, he's running in the floor, one on three, and takes it all the way in. Ah, wow, what a great... It's a welcome sight for Coach Leeser. He's thinking, well, where was that earlier? Sampson for three, got it! End the game. Fredheim, up and under, beautiful. Gosh, that is so nice from Joey. And they lead by four. Up and under, Krushane has thought about it. Now Logering from way downtown, got it! That's a huge basket! With the Storm, they finish up strong tonight with a pretty balanced game. They get 30 in the first half, 31 in the second, they win it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Girls High School Basketball coming your way at QCTV. A Friday matinee, the Huskies come in with a record of 5-2, and two, taking on the Rebels of Jankum Park, 2-7. and seven. Offensive board cashing it back in. Miller had a double-double day on both rebounds and points all afternoon. Meanwhile, slicing it down the lane. Belongi picks up a couple on that drive. Beautiful move inside. Great touch 
Hagenbart, two of her 10 on the afternoon for the Rebels. Huskies had and jumped out to an early lead. Good hands, good turnover, forced the turnover, and L.A. Fields converts on the layup after forcing that turnover. Drive to the lane here, Frost. She was not cold at all. In fact, she was hot on the afternoon, and she had 17 total. There's two of her 17 before the half. The Huskies had a 44-29 lead at half. Coming back in again, Miller, more of the same. And then, of course, Voller stops on a dime and a little spin cycle move for two of her 18 on the afternoon. A look for three. Yes, raining down the three for Cash that time. Annika Olsen picks up the trifecta, kicking it out back wide. Looking at a three, Belongi cashes in on her own three beyond the perimeter. Huskies, and a good hustle here. Keppel, all the way down, streaks down, delivers a dime to Miller, who converts, and the Huskies take home a convincing 82 to 49 win. All core four players, once again, Engelby, Miller, Frost, and Voller, all in double figures. Huskies win 82-49. Steve Thompson, Jim Childs, and our great QCTV crew, led by Ryan Mush. And we've had a good one. And over leading in Oka, 34 29. Huskies trying to get revenge, losing to the Tornadoes at Anoka in December. And they, they got off to a great start, Jim. Yeah, they did. And this guy right here, Cam Begali, scored the first nine points for the Huskies. And he was answered by uh, Peyton Panani, who had the first 10 points for, uh, for the uh, Tornadoes. And then the defense turned up for the Huskies. See right there, nice put back or uh, layup by Fenton, who finished with 12 in the first half. Uh, the Huskies that uh, built a 12 point lead ended up uh, with uh, the Tornadoes cut it to two late in the first half and uh, ended up right now with a five point lead for the Huskies. Yeah, 27 25, and then Andover finished on a little burst, and here we are. Half number two underway, and Anoka gets that first bucket of the half, three-point game, and over the ball. Same starters out there for the Huskies and for Anoka. Bagali, Dijon, Denneke, Stave, Fenton for Andover, and head coach Jeremy Abel. There's Bagali left to the lane, went up, had it blocked by Borchers. But Danny helped out, went out of bounds off Begali, and Anoka's going to get the ball. So uh, the Tornadoes get a good solid start. Once again, Padani led the way with 12 in that first half. And now Padani's going to hand it off. Padani, Shearer, Ellis, Brecking, Borchers, Jez Jefferson, and Anoka in white front court down to our left. There's Borchers. He had three points in the first half. Hands it off, Brecking. Brecking chipped in five. He gets it in the middle, put it up, off, no good. And the rebound fought for. And we're going to get a jump ball, and Andover's going to get it. Brecking was, was in there and tied it up along with Queen oh, Stay. You see right there, Brecking just muscles his way into that rebound and, and that jump ball. He's had a he's had a big night. We talked at halftime. I don't think he came out of the out of the first half. Hand over. Gets it in. Dishin. Good feed down low to Denick. He couldn't handle the hot one. Dishin got it back. Here's Bagali out on the left. Guarded there by Shearer. And now they work it out on top. This is Fenton. Back in the corner. Bagali. No rebound battled for. And it goes out of bounds. They're going to say it went off Trey Borchers. And Andover may have got a break there. Yes. Well, I tell you what, you, you had mentioned the shot clock. I don't think we've uh, been under 20 on any possession, it seems like. They, uh, they continue to, to just ramp up the aggressiveness with the shots. Only bucket so far, Borchers for Anoka. And then driving in, getting hammered was Denneke. 
He's going to go to the free throw line and get two. He has seven points, two of two from the line tonight. First foul of the half is going to go on Anoka, and that's going to be Evan Fracking, number two in the game. No one with the tornadoes more than two. The only real fall trouble for Andover, Quinn Stay with three for Andover. Yeah, he had to, and he, he got him quick. He had to sit the last four minutes. And Denneke does the job and knocks it down, and he'll get one more. And in, in tight ball games, free throws are gigantic. Yep. I mean, there, there's a lot of factors, but being able to knock him down when you get the opportunity is so huge. And Andover back up by five. That's what they led by at the half. 34 to 29, Tornado's the ball. Padani off a pick, and he slammed into Denneke, and that's going to be a foul on Luke Denneke, and that's number three on him. That's a big deal. Yeah, that is. And we can hit him miles in right now. That really hurts Andover's cause getting Denneke out of the ball game. And with 1608 to go on the half, they can't afford number four uh, for sure. So he'll sit. Here's Padani, left of the lane to the block, put up the runner. No. Rebound tapped out of there by Eddie Miles. He's done a nice job to the middle. Good catch, Borchers. Off to the right. Three pointer for Ella. Second made three. He has eight. And it's a two point game. Well, Noka just has, has needled they were, their way back in. They could have pulled the tent early. Fenton, he got bumped. And that's going to go on Ellis. That's going to be number three on him. And remember, yeah. Ellis took, got too quick and had to sit for much of that first down. He's going to go out back. That kid is going to come in. Yeah, and here is Dominic Bakit into the game for Anoka. And Begali will inbound for Andover. Once again, Anoka, two quick team fouls. Andover with one. And now it's Mike Edition. Gives it up, Fenton. 12 in the first to lead Andover. Deshaun, three on the way. Oh, out of there, no good. Rebound ripped down by Fenton. They give it to Pagali. He'll drive into the paint. Free throw line, Jay. Out, no good. Rebound batted around. Padani finally controls it. They got knocked around a little bit, but still grabbed it. And Peyton Padani <laughs> scored a bunch of points early. They move the ball around. Here's Borchers missing. Out of bounds. No, saved in by Miles. Quick break the other way. Begali in front of his own bench. No. Stepped out of bounds. Couldn't run, walk the tightrope. Well, I like the fact the Huskies are pushing the floor, but sometimes you got to <laughs> slow down a little bit, make sure that uh, you've got uh, somebody in bounds. But what a great job by Miles to be able to, to save that ball. 6-3, uh, he looks like a lineman, and he uh, moves like a wide receiver. Here's Shearer, two points in the first half, running the point, watched by Deshaun. Double team comes, swings it down low, but keep back out, Borchers. No, rebound, fought for, and we got a big collision down low, freaking and stay bang yeah. into each other. And I think that's stay number four. For yeah, Quinn and it will be Quinn stay number four. Didn't score in the first half. And now Fracking hobbled a bit, goes to the bench. Coming off is Concho Quinty as Fracking gets a breather. Orchers out on top. And there's a three pointer fade away, but Keats. And Anoka has her first lead since 7 6. Tornadoes by one, 14.30 to go. Deshaun inside, Miles, turn around, got it. Boy, he, he's been reliable inside, he has eight. And over back on top. Orchers down the lane, missed it. Stay, still on the floor with four fouls, get a big board there. Deshaun the other way, no follow by Miles. We got a body on the floor. And Quinty went down hard. We'll get two free throws here. A good drive. Oh. And uh, there's he, Eddie Miles with it, finishing it up. But you had mentioned it was a physical game. It's it's been a physical game, and, and it's uh, uh, there, there's just there isn't any give up in either one of these teams. Deshaun at the line, first free throw attempt. Out of there, no good. He did not score in the first half, but as I mentioned a couple of times, was key for Andover in that first half. 
When they needed a steal, he was the one that was uh, able to do it, or defensive stop. He was the one that kind of led the charge. And he'll get one more. That one much better. And Andover back up by two. They led by five at the half, 34-29. Anoka with the ball in the backcourt. Shearer works to the right side in front of his coach, Jesse Jefferson. And now Brody Lyakkanen gets the minutes. Lyakkanen at the free throw line, out of there. Further out, Shearer. Shearer is going to try and double clutch. Deshaun all over him. They swing it to the far corner. Lyakkanen three. No, high rebound ripped down Padani right back up and in and a foul and an and one opportunity and he could go to the line and give his team the lead. Yeah, Padani. He, see, he seems to be in the right spot at the right time. He's able, he's got a nice touch around the, around the rim. Ballon is third. Padani completes the three point play. By the way, two or three from the line he has 15 points and the tornadoes back up by one once again they led 7-6 they led 37-36 and now 40-39 and that one gets by Fenton that'll be a turnover on Andover are they gonna say but Keith touched it but Keith can't believe it he's like wait a minute I was nowhere near that thing that was a good sales job I believe but yeah and, and Keith wasn't able to sell the official Here's Begali on the elbow. Gets it further out. Aiden Shaw on the floor. This is Dijon kickball. Sure, kick save. <laughs> and we'll <laughs> redo that. Yeah, and let's see. I, I don't I, I, know. Maybe it was tipped uh, uh, um, by, uh, uh, by Lackanen. Yeah. But or by they, they say yeah. it one. They, they say it went off. But Keith, he was yeah. the only one near it. That, that was a weird play. 13 minutes to go. Jumper comes up short. But Golly wanted to foul, didn't get it. On the break the other way. Here's Keith goes in. He got fouled. Aiden Shaw will pick up his first. That'll be the fourth on Andover. And Dominic Bakit will get free throws here. Well, Shaw went up. He just uh, got a little bit too much of the body. His first. He's another big body down there for the Huskies. 40 to 39, 12 54 to go, second half. Quite a battle here tonight, as you might expect, as a town rivalry, and that one no good for Bakit. He has five points. His first free throw was a miss. By the way, Anoka, two for five in the first half. At the moment, three of seven. Padani completed a three point play. That one out, no good. So that helps the Andover cause. Here come the Huskies. Eshin, and then he got bumped. And that's going to be Shearer's first. Caleb Shearer, 6 3 junior guard. He had two points and a half, number one. Coming on the floor is Dre Ellis. And going to the bench is going to be Shearer. And then sitting down is Shaw. For Andover. Back out there. Denneke with three. Gets it down low. We got a hole down low. Two fouls for Denneke. Or two free throws for Denneke. It's going to be their Padani, first on yeah. Padani. I didn't know who they were going to call it on. So, Denneke just, uh, just muscled his way to the, uh, to the rim. And nice to see. Luke ties it up. Five of five from the line for Denneke, 10 points. Averaging 12.3 and 11.6 rebounds. Averaging the double-double. So he's a huge guy to have on the floor. Jeremy Habel puts him out there with three fouls in the game, and he got them both. A good job by Denneke at the line, and, and over by one. Here come the Tornadoes, and Padani. He has 15 to lead all. He'll try the three and hit the three. Tornadoes by two. Dijon back. Begali spins around Padani, gives it back to Dijon. 
Boy, Padani, that lateral movement defensively on top. Wow. And then Dedeke fumbled it, but had it tipped out of bounds. I think it may have been Hurst or Quinty who knocked it away. Uh, you, you, Padani's a good athlete. We know oh. we know about how good he is as a quarterback. Oh. But he is an excellent basketball player. And he's just got a sense to be at the right spot. And let's take a look at those Northwest Suburban standings, courtesy of the crew in the truck. Hopefully the heat's working. It's getting <laughs> finally getting cold in these parts. And you see Osio, Totino Grace, Park Center, Rogers, Maple Grove. You, you look at those top teams in the Northwest Suburban. Wow. They are loaded. They are yeah. loaded. Yep. A lot of great coaches. And then of course, uh, and over in Anoka, right in the middle of the pack at two and two. This is a tough league to struggle in if you're having an off year. Yeah, you, you're right. And you know, these two, both these coaches, you mentioned uh, good coaches, you know, and, uh, Jeremy Havel, 47 and 26 so far this uh, in his three year career. That's pretty impressive. Two, two yep. state tournaments, uh, you know, he's a plus 21 as far as over 500. Well, Jesse Jefferson's done a nice job building this Anoka program and getting things turned around and getting people excited. And I, I, right. I, I think, I think the, the turnaround overall for Anoka Athletics has been absolutely outstanding. Here's Fenton. He gets into the paint, missed the shot, had a good look, and that rebound comes down to Quinty for Anoka. Padani gives it up on the wing. One more pass. This is Borden shoots along the baseline. No, Fenton rips down the board. He had 12 in the first half, none so far here. Under 12 runs into his own player and traveled. He just kind of ran into yeah. Denneke near the right block. Yeah, and uh, Denneke's one that's uh, just not going to move out of the way very easily. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, you had mentioned uh, yeah, Jefferson. Uh, you know, five wins his first, it goes up to 12. He's at 500. Uh, he's got a chance. Uh, you know, they've got a goal to make it the state this year through Section 7. Completely possible. Oh, yeah. A lot of good players. Here's a three on the way, short by Padani. And the rebound hauled down by Cam Bagali, who had nine points. First nine of the game for Andover. They'd like to get him going again. Into the paint, to the hoop. Partially blocked, followed by Miles. No, Miles again gives it up. Denneke up and in. Boy, that was great teamwork. He has six in the half, 13 in the game. We're tied. Right back the other way, Borchers a 3-0. Long rebound grabbed by Padani. He'll feed it out to Ellis into the paint. And then Jeremy Hable getting a warning. And a traveling call on Anoka. So the official stops and Jeremy, <laughs> calm down. We got it, we got it. <laughs> I saw the travel. Yes. That was interesting. Yeah, I think I, I think he was uh, 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 looking for a travel on the drive before that, and he was able to get it on uh, on Ellis. Oh, you know what it means to both these in this rivalry. Bacali on top, right of the lane to the block, stops, fade away, up short, and the rebound hauled in by Evan Fracking, and then it's ripped away by Fenton. He'll get it outside to Deishan. Deishan skips it across. Denneke down low. Miles inside up and in. He's got 10 in the paint. And Andover grabs the lead back. A 4-0 run. And Oka right back. No easy points for Miles tonight. They've all been challenged. Orchers on the right. Gets it to the middle. And Ellis. 10-32 to go in the game. Works off a pick to the right side. He had it tipped away, batted out of there. Deshaun's going to run it down. Three on one. Dedeke lays it in. Eight and a half, 15 in the game. 6-0 run by Andover. What a great job by Dedeke to be able to handle that pass and with one step be able to get it in. That's Ellis down in the corner. Frat King dribbles into the paint. Puts it up, off no good. Rebound, Luke Denneke. He'll get it ahead to Fenton. Fenton's gonna charge in. Reverse layup, no, followed by Denneke up. He got fouled. Trey Ellis picks up his fourth and cannot believe it. Well, it, it certainly looked like he got out hand. Here's a, uh, see if he goes up. Yeah, yeah he arm. Fourth on Ellis. He's the first tornado with four, let alone three in the game. Denneke at the line and finally misses a free throw. 
Yeah, there's. Denneke, the first miss, six to six. He has 16 points. Yeah, he has. Uh, he, but you know, both or him 15, and Miles. Excuse me. Both him and Miles have really done a nice job inside. Miles uh, has been challenged. And then he knocks that one down. 48-43, seven all run by Andover. Here's Padani, tried to go around the corner on the right side, dribbles in, and he got fouled by Fenton. That's gonna be a reach on Fenton, I believe. We'll, we'll see the official call, no. It's gonna be on Deshaun if it is, that's number four. So now he and Stay both have four, three on Denneke. With 9.41 to go in the game, and Anoka to inbound down by five. They get it inside, now they kick it out. Padani in the corner, further out, Shearer. But Keith gives it back to Shearer. And now picks that by Quinty, and that's off the hands of Borchers. And now we got a timeout on the floor. 9.26 to go, Andover leads at 48-43, but that 7-0 run still stands, Jim. Yeah, it does. And, and uh, you know, the O part is that the Huskies defense have just really done an outstanding job with their hands and being active on that defensive floor and just not giving any easy shots. No looks at the basket. And Denneke leading the way with 16. He has... Nine in this half, seven in the first half. Fenton had 12 in the first half. Nine for Begali came early. Miles at 10. And Eddie Miles has done a really nice job in the he, paint for Andover. He has. He's got some, you know, with 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 somebody draped on him, he's got some great touch and has, uh, uh, you know, really come up. I know that, you know, he came in here averaging uh, three, uh, three rebounds and three uh, points and just uh, a sophomore yeah yeah yes yeah, yeah. And, and kind of filling that hole where uh you know Aiden Shaw has been there Aiden Shaw has averaged uh you know eight rebounds and Miles has come in there just have really done a nice job of being able to help control him and Denneke in that in the middle just control those rebounds but Annie leading the way for Anoka with 18 and over the ball once again they're on a 7-0 run and over there with Begali in the front court down to the right. They swing it around on the perimeter. Here's Denneke, Denneke on the baseline, got bumped. Here's Begali into the lane, scoop shot, no. Good position on the rebound, Quinty. And now here come the Tornadoes. This is Shearer. Shearer on top, tries a three. Nothing but net. Big three for Shearer. He has five in the game. Yeah, Shearer, absolutely. Anoka needed that. Ball down on the deck. Brandle grabbed it. Jack Brandle gets it further out to Denneke. And now they work it into the corner. Here's Fenton. Fenton trying to dribble out of there. Has Miles on the block. And then that's stolen away, but it goes. Oh, wow. Good job by Borchers to knock it off. Fenton to have it go out of bounds. Now Anoka down by two has the ball. Well, Anoka knows where after that first half, Anoka knows where number 34 is every every trip down. They've Borchers, nice job defensively on Fenton. Shearer running the point, giving Padani a break, and now Padani grabs it in front of his own bench. Here's Bakit, gives it back. Padani drives in, blocked by Miles, goes out of bounds off Miles. And Anoka's going to hang on, and Peyton Padani will inbound with eight. 14 to go in what has been a wildly entertaining game. On the outside, Quinty. Now it's Borcher, swings to the left, but any three. Got it! Anoka grabs the lead back. Third made three in the game for Padani. He has 21 to lead all. Here's Begali. 
Bagali over to Fenton. Right side, this is Brandle. Now Bagali. Right of the key, puts it in the paint. Kicks it out left. Miles three, long, no good. Rebound tapped out of there. Padani on the break. Doesn't have numbers. And he'll shovel it off. This is Bakit back to Padani. Good decision there to slow it down. Yeah, this is a, this is an important possession for the Tornadoes. This is Borchers. No rebound. Denneke for Andover. Now it's Bagali the other way. Stops top of the key. Keeps his dribble. Goes into the paint. Tied up by Borchers. And they're going to call the jump, and Anoka's going to get it back. What a job by Trey Borchers. Yeah, his defensive work this half has been outstanding right there. A trip down, just all in the back pocket of Bengali the whole time. Dijon on the floor with four fouls. He has one point. One for two from the line for Dijon, but a key guy with 7.14 to go. He's on the brink. This is Bakit drives into the block, put it up. No, we got a foul. And I think it was Miles down low. It's going to pick up the foul. We'll, we'll see for sure. Miles or Denneke? Yeah, Team fouls are even at six, and it is Miles. First on Eddie. Yep. Bakit at the line, 0 for 2, 5 points. You mentioned how important uh, uh, free throws are. He missed a couple last time. This was a chance to put some distance uh, between the Huskies and uh, the Tornadoes. It was 48-43 Andover at 926. Now Anoka has put together a 7-0, make it an 8-0 run to lead it 51 to 48. But keep five and a half, seven in the game. Here's Fenton the three. No rebound. Denneke out of nowhere. And now he's set in Bagali. He flew through the air to grab that one. He certainly did. Denneke gives it up to Miles. Back outside Bagali. Back inside to Miles on the block. Oh, in and one. Uh, great footwork by Miles. Able to turn, able to finish complete. The bucket, now let's see if we can complete that three-point play. The 6-3 sophomore demanding minutes. Yes. Oh. Good here. Good footwork. Good body positioning. Third on Quinty. And he completes the three-point play on top of it. Miles has 13. What a story. We're tied at 51. With 6.41 to go in the game. Here's... Orchards for the tornadoes down on the deck picked up Denneke Denneke into the paint gives it to the trailer fit and put it up. No, but a foul And free throws for Andover Akita will get, get the foul on that one Two players with four fouls on the Deshaun and Ellis are both on the floor right now That's the Frantic pace all night tonight. Uh, Granted, 51 all with 632 in the game is, you know, not your traditional 95 90 nope. game, but it's it's been intense. Yeah. By the way, the, the foul goes on Bakit, his second. 18 foul on the Tornadoes. First free throw from Luke is good. He has 13. First point right there at a half. Andover grabs the lead back. This has been fun. It has. It, it, you know, and the effort by both teams on both sides of the floor has been really outstanding. Fenton with 14 tornadoes the ball. Here's Shearer. Got Padani to his left. And now Padani gets it near the big A in the middle of the floor. Padani kicks it down into the corner. Ellis, no. Rebound. Denneke once again through the air grabs it out of there. And Bagali comes back. And over by a deuce. Fenton down the lane. The runner. Foul on the floor. Well before the shot. Now in the NBA, you'd get the continuation. It's <laughs> not here. <laughs> not here, yeah. So that's to be sure okay, second. Number, 11, Shearer. number two on Shearer. Number nine on Anoka with 6'11 to go in the game. So free throw is a much bigger factor down the stretch. Fenton at the line. Two for two. 14 points overall. 
Free throws, free throws, free throws. If you're wondering, now a 6-0 run but by nice. Andover to grab the lead back. And he rattles that one home. He has made four free throws in a row. And with 6.07 to go, here comes Anoka. Ellis in the middle to the elbow. Dribbles back out of there. Now it's fracking. Stops his dribble. Hands it off. Shearer, three. Got it. Long range three for Shearer. Six and a half, eight in the game. And over by one. That's a tough shot. Nice yeah. make by, by Shearer. Deshaun down in the corner. Fenton drives in. Tried to give it up. Got airborne. Stolen away. Dre Ellis. Dre Ellis waiting for the trailer. Looked at a three. Now out to the middle. Here's Shearer. Shearer stops. Back to Ellis. Shot clock has been a non-factor tonight. <laughs> yeah, yes. What shot clock? Yeah. Ellis down the lane. Good double clutch. Put it up. No. Rebound fracking. No. Deshaun lost it out of bounds. Couldn't control the rebound. Anoka's going to hang on. Both the both, uh, both Danike and Miles really have made an impact in the middle uh, just by shot adjustments that the Tornadoes are having to make when they drive. Padani looks to inbound, shovels into the corner. Shearer three. Up and down! Shearer three made threes in the half. He has 11 points, and the Tornadoes lead it by two. Five to go. Fenton partially blocked. Miles grabs it, gets it to the outside, and Begali has not scored in the half. Had the first nine of the game for Andover, hasn't scored. They'd love to get him going. Fenton into the paint. Floater got it. Six and a half, 18 in the game for him. We're tied at 57. Hide the remote. <laughs> Ellis into the paint. Wrecking. Backdoor cut. Padani stolen away. Stolen away by Deishan. Mikey Deishan back the other way. Kicks it down. Denneke got hammered by Frecking and will get free throws. And Frecking's like, I think I got all ball there. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. That was a. Uh, his third well, it, Danike's done a great job of getting a free throw line. He's uh, had to make those contested shots. He knocks down another one, and he has 17. And Andover back by one with 4.16 to go. Well, it seems like that 12-point lead for the Huskies was uh, about a week ago. That free throw no good, and the rebound hauled down by Padani. And over by one. Tornado's the ball in white front court down to our left. Padani off a pick by Fracking. Put it on the deck. Back outside Borchers to the elbow to the block. Up. Spins out. And the rebound to Begali. It was fought for. And we got a foul on the rebound. Anoka can't believe it. That'd be number four on Fracking. Tornado's foul is number 21. And it is Fracking. First tornado, second tornado with four. Ellis has four. And we'll go to the other end in Begali. And he is going to get two here, so now a big deal. Now, next Andover foul, Anoka gets the front end. but And Begali, first point since the first half. He now has ten. Andover back up by two. That one no good. And a rebound, Shearer. Padani rips one inside, stolen away by Miles. He'll get it to Fenton, and over by two in the ball. 3.45 to go. They'll hand it off, Begali. And Begali fires it to Denneke, but it was tipped away by Shearer. He just got his fingertips on it. He was. Denneke was all alone. He had to be licking his chops on that <laughs> yes. one. Well, a chance to draw, draw some contact again. He's been good at that so far. Yeah, go up there, shield the ball with the body, lob outside Begali. The catch. Begali into the paint. Had it tapped away, but maintains, needs help. 
Driving on Padani down on the deck, stolen away of fracking. He and Padani did a good job down low. And now it's Anoka Shearer. Tornadoes trail by two, 3.20 to go in the game. Off the pick, left side to the block. Scoop shot, no. Fracking to follow, no. But golly, the board for Andover. Huskies have it. Now it's Miles. What a game he's had. Here's Deshaun. He shovels it out. Fenton to the free throw line. Stops. Oh, man, got away <laughs> with the travel there. Ooh, that was close. Deshaun near the middle of the floor. Out on the wing. Bagali. Bagali into Miles. Miles up off the glass. No. And the board to Shear. He may have swung the arm around and got away with it. Padani long three, no, and the rebound, Deneke. Give it to Deishin, and the Tornadoes will fall back on D. And over by two, 2.30 to go. Driving in, Deishin kicks it out on the corner. Miles thought about it, but didn't. Deishin on top, he'll try the three. Off, no good, rebound battled for. Finn the ball in the bucket, and in one. Finn out of nowhere to put it back and draw the foul. Uh, that quick release of Fenton on Ed Pounce rights to him. He pulls it up and gets hammered on the body. Keat with his third foul. Anoka over the limit with 10, with 2.17 to go. Andover's grabbed a four point lead, could be five. And this is a 6 0 run. And I look at the score sheet, and it's just teams trading <laughs> runs. Just back and forth they go. Uh, the 2.17 to go is still a long way. It, yeah, and it, the uh, Tornadoes are due to have their run now. So, you know, and it's just, like you said, just a four point lead. You know, th this game seems like you had mentioned it's only 61 57. It should be in the 80s. I mean, as fast and pace as it's been, it's just been up and down and up and down. And yeah, both, teams really getting it up. Yeah, it both, both teams have done a nice job of cleaning up the glass on uh, uh, defensively. Not a lot of offensive rebounds. So both coaches talking strategy. You see the Andover Pep Band entertaining tonight. That's good to see. They've done a phenomenal job. Uh, it, it's always great when the band's in the house. It, it certainly is. And and the intensity of this game and the band and uh, you know student section it's uh, it's been a fun game yeah no doubt good ball game tonight so here's Fenton at the line 12 in the first halves come alive here in the second with eight make it nine as he completes a three-point play and Andover's lead is five seven oh run Anoka the ball still plenty of time 210 to go this is Ellis Ellis hands it off Padani now it's Borchers to the block, put it up, missed it, rebound, fracking up and in. Weak side rebound, fracking as seven. And now Andover by three in the ball. 150 to go. Orchers drives in, that's a charge, no, a block on fracking. And that, that's, that's it, it for Evan Fracking. Yeah. That's number five. Whew. That, that could have gone either way. Uh, you're right. And, uh, you, we'll you, were, you were waiting for the. Yeah, he's moving. Yeah, he, uh, just a little slide yeah. to the left. Good call by the officials. Fracking fouls out with seven. And Bagali will go to the line, and Bagali will get two. He has ten points. Well, there's also a technical that was just given to Fracking as well. So. So th this, this is really four. a big deal. Yeah, yeah. So ton of free throws, and then Andover gets the ball. Jeremy Habel trying to understand the situation. That one no good for Bagali. So that's the technical. Or that was the, that was the free throws. And, and now okay, Fenton will yeah, shoot yeah. the free throws. 63-59 at the moment. Fenton with free throws. That one's no good. Fenton had made five in a row. Five of five from the line. Nine points in the half, 21 in the game. He'll get one more. 
And he did knock that one down. 64-59. And now a timeout. Still a long way to go with 147, but now with Frecking on the bench, that, that's certainly a rebounding and defensive presence that Anoka doesn't have. Yeah, well, you know, I, I think the, if if you're Anoka, you, you've got to look. How do you how do you get either Trey Borchers free? who's had a tough night from the floor or from the field, but uh, Panani's got to get the ball, and he's gonna, he's your scorer. Either that or sure, both those are the two sh shooters. So, so Fenton, Fenton, by the way, has 22 points at the moment. Andover leads at 64 to 59. Let's take a look at the foul right there. That's that was the foul. Yep. That was the number five. And then at some point, Brecking got a technical. He either said something on the way to the bench. I don't know. Yeah, and I, it, it, it doesn't unless it was someone else said something. Yeah, that doesn't look like like he said anything. No. I mean, he was mumbling to himself, but nope. it's not like he called out an official or got in anybody's face. Uh, it didn't look like he showed him up, but no, you, you just don't know what he what what that was said right. and who who caught it. All right, Andover up by five, and they have the ball after the foul free throws, and then the technical free throws miles in the paint he's been good inside fights for the rebound scramble on the deck anoka trying to con grab it and they do Shearer moves it ahead borchers three on the way down deep and out miles aboard gives it to bagali with 122 and over by five bagali back the other way baseline jumper no and the rebound comes down to dre ellis ellis pushing the pace the other way leans in oh. And that's Deshaun's fifth. He's out. Mike Deshaun's going to fall out of the game. So Quentin Stay will come in for him, but he doing everything he could to just get those feet planted. So Deshaun will fall out with one point. Both teams have had a player fall out. And at the lane, Ellis. And that's a smart play by Ellis to try yep. and get him out of the game. Yep. There's no, yep. no doubt about it. Yeah, well, it, could, it, could, it could have possibly been him got out of the game, too. Right. Because he's playing with four as well. He has eight, trying to make it nine, and he got it. And now, speaking of how big free throws are for the Tornadoes, with 111 to go, sophomore guard needs one more. Well, and number one, it. yeah, it stops the clock. Three-point game. Still plenty of time with oh, yeah. 11 yep. to go. Yep. Looks like there's going to be some pressure put on. Yeah, but Key down the floor. Padani in the backcourt. Borchers in the backcourt. Ellis will sit down with four. And Jesse Jefferson wants his scoring punch available. They get it in. Bagali. Still plenty of time. No reason to foul. Padani's going to guard him and hound him into the front court. Bagali right side, and over by three. One minute to go right now. Off to the right, Denicky. Denicky down to the block. Miles into the paint, fade away. No good defense down low. Denicky saved it, but it's grabbed by Shearer. Shearer with Padani. He's going to go in, put it up, get the bucket, tough shot. Shearer, 11 and a half, 13 in the game. One point game, and over with 38 in the ball. Bagali, we're going to get a timeout. Jeremy Hamel, well, well, Anoka <laughs> battles right back with four in a row. Well, I, I think it's a smart call by Coach Hamel. You've you've been aggressive all game, but there's only 34 ticks left, and you got a 26 second clock. Use that up. Use that up, and make sure you've got a good shape. You know, one, one of the fascinating things that I think that we've seen tonight, Steve, is we've had two All-State football players on each other. But Danny and uh, Bagali both were going against head-to-head -head against each other. I don't think that's happened too many times. Yeah, it has been quite a battle here tonight. And it's going to go right down to the wire. 64-63 and over. 34 seconds left. By the way, shot clock at 26. So, really... There, there, there's no advantage for Andover 
and they, they want to try and work it down as far as they can but more importantly get a good look yeah they do yeah if they can get to the line that would uh, like that even more and you, you wonder if uh, the tornadoes might want to do that to preserve some Eddie Picks Miles has yep. been terrific inside the sophomore 13 points. Here's the inbound Fenton. He's going to lob it away to the outside. Denick, he knocks it down in front of the scorer's table. He'll drive it in, put up a shot. Did he get fouled? He did get pushed. And the question is, is it going to be Bakit or is it going to be Quinty? It's going to be Quinty, yep. Oh, Dominic. Bakit, yeah, yeah, it'll be on Bakit. Number four on him, and now Denneke will go to the line. 30.3 to go in the game, shot clock is off. So Denneke, big night tonight. That wasn't good. <laughs> and he has 10 and a half, 17 in the game, and he'll get one more. Denneke had made his first five. That one off, no good. And then the rebound out of bounds off Quinty. He couldn't control it. So after the two misses by Denneke with 29 seconds left, shot clock shouldn't be. Well, they, they do have the shot clock on. I'm not sure why. Because it was off. Now it's back on. I don't, uh, I don't think the, the Huskies gained possession, so I don't know why it would go to 20. Begali to the outside, knocked down by Denneke. Denneke off to Begali on the left, and he got followed by Padani. That'll be the second on Padani, and now Begali will get free throws, where he's two of three and has 11 points. 64-63. But still two makes here, and the yep. Tornadoes still have plenty of time. Oh. And he misses, and Anoka has now missed three in a row at the line. The last make was Fenton on the back end of two free throws. That one is pure. And over by two, timeout, 25.2 to go. Jesse Jefferson wants to talk strategy, and now they have a lot of options. Yeah, they certainly do. You know, uh, Borchards ha has been really quite cold all game. He's, uh, but you, somehow you've got to get it into Padani's hands. I can't imagine not not, uh, not getting into uh, your leading scorers for that last shot. Yeah, Padani has 21 in the game to lead the Tornadoes. Had 12 in the first half. Uh, Shearer's been uh, has done a nice job. He knocked down a couple of threes midway through the second half to really bring Anoka back in. Well, we figured it would go right down to the wire, and here we are. Yeah, yes. And Anoka led at 34-29 at the half. They, they had two 12-point leads in the first half, 19-9 and 21-10, but Anoka got right back into it. Andover pulled away late in the half, 34 to 29. And really, it's been a seesaw battle most of the way in the second half. Where one team would grab the lead, and the other team would go on a run, and so forth. And yeah, I, th I think the most impressive thing has been both, both teams, their defensive effort, and the energy they brought on the defensive side. And they'll get it in, 25.2. Orchers in the backcourt with Shearer. Shearer to the right, it's Padani. Now to the middle, Ellis. Back to Padani. He's going to drive into the block, kick it out. Orchers three. Got it! Tornado's lead with 10. Here's Bagali. Right of the key into the paint with four. Fade away off the glass. Ain't no good. Rebound, Tornadoes. Anoka steals one at Andover, 66, 65. Well, what a great job. Redemption time for, for uh, uh, Borch Borchers, who's really struggled all game trying to hit, find his rhythm. That time he did right at the end and nails it. Borchers ends with eight, top of the key three, and then Andover had a good look 
with Begali in the paint, and it just fell out. That would have given Andover the win. Anoka prevails 66-65. What a ball game. Here it is. Padani, everybody collapsed on him. Left Borchers open right on top of the key. Nylon. And that is your game winner tonight. Anoka goes to six and five. They break a two-game losing streak. Three and two in conference play. Heartbreaker for Andover. They fall to three and seven. Two and three in conference play. And the losing streak hits five. Boy, great job by our crew tonight, led by Ryan Mush. Jim, always fun. Good yes, to see you, my absolutely. man. Absolutely. Great job tonight, Steve. Jim Childs. I'm Steve Thompson. Thanks so much for joining us here on QCTV.